morning church. It's Easter Sunday, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, so we were gonna do a couple of videos about um how we wanted to celebrate Easter this year. And um I have been over the past few years more and more aware of the fact that we do quite a big deal for Christmas. Um, I mean, we don't celebrate everything no. about Christmas, do we? No. We won't say, but we don't celebrate some of the main things about Christmas, do we? Yeah. No. So we do Jesus' birthday. But even so, Christmas is just like supersized these days and you can't avoid it. Um, and I'm more and more cautious, like conscious of the fact that really we should be celebrating the, the gospel um, and we should be celebrating that Jesus has died for us and that he rose again and that that should really be a huge focus for us as Christians um, and for us to teach the children and just the whole time of Easter is an amazing time to share the gospel with others um, but also to teach our children. So this year we decided that we would try and decorate our home quite a lot. Um, we've got Easter branches, haven't we? And we made crosses to go on there. Um, we've made a tomb scene and we made um, the women, didn't we? Yeah. Who did we make? Two men. Mary. 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 And um, and then we've got Jesus, haven't we? Yeah. And palm trees, and so we've got a whole setup, a little bit like you'd have a nativity setup. We've got a whole resurrection setup, haven't we? With three crosses and everything, so the children can play with it. Um, and then one of my other ideas is what we're going to show you now. So do you want to hold the other side so they can just see it? So we have got here a paper chain. Thank you. And the paper chain, the idea of the paper chain is on each chain, we have written um, either something that you are grateful for in your life today, because we've got many reasons to be grateful. Um, safe place to live, food, loving family. Um, we've got many reasons or we've written a thank you to Jesus. Um, as obviously he died on the cross for us at this time. So we have, and also I've written some scriptures. Um, so Lucy and Sophie are writing some more now, which I'll read to you in a second, but I've got a couple of things that I'm gonna to read to you as ideas for your paper chain. So. Rejoice always, praise without ceasing, give thanks to the Lord in all circumstances. This year has been quite a hard one for people. Um, but rejoice always, pray without ceasing, and give thanks in all circumstances. No matter what's happening in your life, give thanks. <laughs> Sometimes that's quite a hard one. But I think it's to recognise that this time that we are here living on earth is, is really relatively short and um, things that happen will pass, but we will still go to be with Jesus, won't we? And that is always a reason to give thanks. So that's that one. Then I've got, give thanks to the Lord for he is good, for his steadfast love endures forever. He is good. He is good. There is no way of um, arguing with that. Jesus is good. Yeah. 100% good, pure, good man. And um, that's something to give thanks for, isn't it? That he chose to take our sin. What have you got there, Sophie? Thank you for forgiving our sins. Thank you for forgiving our sins, good. Lucy? Thank you for dying on the cross for us. Thank you for dying on the cross for us. So we are going to hang this up in our home, aren't we? Yeah. And then every time we see it, we can praise Jesus. Maybe sing a worship song, maybe say a little prayer, but in our home, it will be there to remind us to thank Jesus. Yeah. yeah. We're going to do 
my resurrection buns. I presume a lot of you haven't heard of these, but um, they're basically demonstrating the empty tomb. So, um, first thing was the dough that I made, and I'll have a recipe available if you want to try it. But I prayed over these buns because I'm not a, a huge baker, am I? Not really. And I've wanted to do this a few years, but I've just <laughs> been really nervous that it's not going to work. So, let's hope it works. Right, um, so the nice thing about these buns is it tells the Easter story. And it starts with Jesus, which is pure and white marshmallow, yes? Pure, without sin. Yeah. They're gigantic. <laughs> we got big ones, hoping for a large empty tomb. Yeah. So Jesus, this represents Jesus' dead body. And we're going to put him in <laughs> oils. Yeah. I'll do mine first, then you can do yours. Oils. And then okay. um, spices. Yeah. Okay the same way that his body was prepared for um, burial in the tomb. Okay, so this is, uh, this is going to be my tomb. Okay, so his body is being prepared and then I'm going to seal it up, let's hope I can, in the tomb. Yeah. Like this. Yeah, just keep rolling and flopping and then and then what you need to do is use your hands to press all the dough together because what? his tomb was sealed up tight. Um the Romans put guards and there's a huge stone rock. Yeah. yeah. And it was sealed up so tight that they said that um that no man would be able to escape, yeah? So, but we all know that Jesus was was not an ordinary man, yeah. don't we? Yeah. So, Jesus was resurrected. Um, he wasn't an alive man that escaped a tomb. He died for us. Yeah. He had to die. It was sad, wasn't it? Yeah. Why did he die? For our sins. For our sins. Because we are not pure. No. Yeah. It was a perfect death. A perfect man dying for people that are not perfect yeah so yeah. we'll make sure yours are, are totally sealed won't we yeah and then it goes in in the oven hang on it's okay we'll make sure yours is totally sealed then it'll go in the oven and like jesus was in the tomb for three days they're I'm not, not going to put it in three days. <laughs> no, I'm going to try and not put them in the oven for three days. And then when we get them out of the oven, we should see what they're like. We'll, we'll pray over them. <laughs> okay. Resurrection buns have been in the oven. And, um, <coughs> and... As we were saying before, that Jesus went into the tomb for three days. Um, so our buns went in for about 20 minutes. But Jesus went and had this, um, as we were saying, it was like the heat of the oven, this punishment um, of Jesus' body um, is like being there when we should have been in the oven, in, in the hot heat, yeah. in the punishment, yeah. Like Jesus took all the punishment for us, yeah? Yeah, yeah. yeah. and how pure Jesus was, yeah? yeah? So then, we've cut open our buns, yeah? yeah? I'll show you them now. And we can see, just there, look, that Jesus is gone. <laughs> the tomb is empty, yeah? Resurrected. So God loved us so much that he sent his only son yes yeah. mm -hmm. that we wouldn't perish but we would have everlasting life yeah. this is what jesus has given us this is what jesus has done for us and as we see he's not here 
He's not there today, is he? He's not in a tomb today. No. Where is he? In heaven. In heaven. He's alive. Yeah. yeah. So, bless you all. Happy Easter. Um, we pray that you can do something in your family over this time to talk about Jesus, to um, bless him, praise his name, and um, really recognise that um, what he's done for you and your family and teach your children um, the gospel message this Easter. And make the buns go okay. Yeah, and yeah, some of our buns didn't go that well. Um, top tip, mm -hmm. the large marshmallows, like the really big marshmallows don't fully melt down that well. So maybe like half the size of a really big marshmallow will be better. Okay, God bless you guys. Bye. Happy Easter. Happy Easter, yeah. Happy Easter. Happy Easter. Happy Easter. Happy Easter.